What's up, world? It's I, Dave, your second favorite fan of back wearing human right after The Rock. It's true. I'm working on becoming number one, but he wears a fanny bag, too, from time to time. So I'm I'm not going to say I'm your favorite. We're going we're gonna to give it to him. And we're going to say I'm working on it. But what I want to introduce you to is a little bit of car talk. Uh, we, we, we like to talk. Uh, I find that life is interesting when you open your mouth. If you share your thoughts with others, you, you can get kind of far in life and you find out different stuff that you might not know and maybe they know. So what you're about to witness is my talk with Trevor Sky. If you want to know more about him or the connection, just comment below. But um, it starts off kind of kind of dry, talking about um, the average Joe. You'll find out. You'll find out. I'm a big Jersey Shore fan. You'll find out. But then it gets really deep into the Marvel Universe and what it is, the chronological order and who's who and what's what and some flings and some some really some really dark stuff that we might not have all known about. I, I for sure didn't know about it. Oh the dog is getting trapped in wires, but it is what it is. Oh my what the heck? you don't even know what's going on right now. You don't even know. So sit back, relax, have some fun, and scar talk with Fanny Pack Dave. Don't forget to follow, watch live on Twitch as well, Fanny Pack Dave. See you later. All right. We're tossing a phone call right now to Dave D, also known as Trevor Sky. Now, Trevor Sky is a human who is fictional. It's a fictional human. He was Dave, and now he's Trevor. It's a crazy world we live in. You can be whoever you want to be. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Call Trevor Sky. Calling Trevor Sky. There you are. Hey, how are you? Oh. I'm better today, thanks. Are you? So I finish my show. I don't even know. And then, yeah, I will. What show are you watching? <laughs> um, it is called uh, Average Joe's. <laughs> two two for one or something like that. <laughs> um, it's, uh, do you remember back, got it, it, it was so many years ago uh, when the Average Joe, it was a dating show came around and this guy, he was, he was loaded, but they didn't know he was loaded. Nobody knew he was just an oh, average right, right. dude. So they, they redid the show now, and they did uh, two dudes on the show. So it's a dating show. There's like 18 girls and two dudes. And um, one is rich, the other one's not, but they don't tell you. So it's like, um, right. yeah, it's kind of, well, they we know as the viewer, but the girls don't know. So it was. Uh, All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something funny. You ready? Yep. Uh, that falls broadly under the heading of like reality TV. Yeah. Which I don't watch. No, you don't watch any reality TV. Well, when I was you know young, it didn't exist, right? No, it did. It did. So it did it. You, no, and then when I was like in my twenties or thirties, or when they introduced it. I thought it was, I didn't like it. It pushed me away. And uh, so just generally speaking, of course, I watch a lot of TV now because you gave me your logins. I watch scripted things like, you know, the book of Boba Fett or whatever, right? Uh-huh. But uh, I, I generally speaking won't watch reality TV. What about Jersey Shore then? You've never watched the Jersey Shore? None of those. That's all way after my time. I think I think you should. Um, I mean, my <laughs> my assignment to you, whether you take it or not, would be to watch all the Jersey Shores. No way. Yeah, there's only like 13 seasons. No, That's no, I don't all. think there's that many. Uh, there might be. I, I don't know how many seasons there are. It's uh, they're not I even seasons. Think, it's real be. life. I'm trying to think if there's an exception. Oh, I guess I watched 
Top Chef a few times. Okay. What about uh, what, what was that show, The Apprentice, with with Trump? No, I would never watch that. No. Uh. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. See, you're you're, you're a different. I got, I'm losing my voice here. Hold on. <laughs> you're a different generation, Dave. <clears throat> Yeah. The idea of watching a bunch of people just randomly talk is just not appealing to me. But that's it's kind of like um, the the interwebs, right? Like Twitter, your buddy who started Twitter. That now you're just watching people. Yeah, I know, but I don't I don't watch any of that either. You don't get I, you don't get on Twitter, huh? I think you need to get on. No, Twitter. but I'll watch. Okay. I mean, I'll watch an interview. I guess technically, an interview is a uh, is reality TV, but I wouldn't ever watch The Apprentice or. Survivor, any of that stuff. Couldn't you, um, I think it would be cool if you just became an internet troll. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, like, no, no, yeah, no, cause you're, you're so, you're so smart and everything and you, and you write, you write so good and you, you take, you have like, you take the time to write these long, these emails and stuff. What if you just reviewed everything, everything that you watched because you're, you're articulate and when when your voice right. isn't going away, you're you're not a, you're not bad to listen to. But right now, I don't know what's going. We got to figure out that voice. We got to got to get you healthy again. No, no, it's still kind of early here. Yeah, It'll get better in a second. It's eleven. That is pretty early. Yeah. Oh, that's early for people my age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. 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 What? Uh, I never got to talk with you about all the adventure movies. I told you I was going to talk to you, and I wanted to. I wanted to wait because I wanted to have that um, this this cord that I could hook my phone into, so I get your take on it and right. record, so then I could do it on my computer. And I, I have that cord in now. Um, I just I got it and I, I hooked it up two days ago actually for the first time. So I was excited to talk with you because you had um, you you took psychology courses in school plus you're you watched all all that stuff. I just I really don't understand these. Uh, adventure people but I, I've learned since then like um, when they fight each other it's yes. almost like they're they're pushing each other at a different level like I guess I was never like a big athlete where I like walk up to my buddy and like like push push him down and attempt to beat them up because I wanted to right. push him to not be such a sissy I guess but these, these adventure people you're talking you know, about you're talking about the superheroes not getting along with each other? Yeah. Oh my God. Um, in in Civil War, Iron Man, he's like, yeah, we we messed up, guys. We need to be held responsible for things. We're gonna. I'm getting behind this initiative. And Captain America was like, No, dude. I I think um, I don't want to work for political gain and stuff. I'm I'm gonna do my own thing. And Captain America or uh, Iron Man was like, No, guys. We we've we've destroyed cities and we need to be held responsible for our actions. And then what, what does he do? He, he, he started like a whole war with them. Like he didn't have to intervene right. with Iron Man. And no, no, he, they, can you, do you remember that scene where they just destroyed that airport? Yeah. yeah listen, I'll tell you this. Uh, generally speaking, I, civil war is based upon a comic book of the same name. Right. Okay. So it was uh, Marvel concept. Civil War. Oh, no shit. The whole series? Yeah. So, was it one book or was it yeah, a series so, of books? No, it's a series. Okay, wow. Maybe maybe six books. So this would be long. I mean, this is this. You have to understand that I've been following, you know, comic books and the what, what would be considered the intellectual property, which means the characters for decades. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm, I'm agreeing with what you're saying, Dave, because when Civil War, the series, came out, which was 10 years or more before the movie, I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that Captain America was leading a team against uh, uh, Iron Man. In my world of the 1970s, Iron Man and Captain America are best friends. Yeah. Like that, like that. Yeah, so I didn't like that at all. No. Well, can you imagine what what like all the other uh, the bystanders? Because airports are never really shut down. Like, there's always people in an airport. Like, of are they looking outside and seeing all these superheroes? That I know there's a lot of negative press in the news about superheroes at this given point too. But can you imagine just right. seeing these guys and like the fear that would be going on through through your eyes if you're looking out at a terminal? Well, that's, that's kind of a 
uh, that specific movie I didn't like because I didn't like the story it was based on. No. But that specific point, a second point you're making there, sometimes in a superhero movie, they're just fighting uh, a threat that they themselves created. I'm like, well, you're not helping the world at all. No. Right? You're just, you're, this is like incestuous. You know? Yeah. Billions, yeah. like I got a, an airport has to be a whole hell of a lot of money. They, they took down a freaking... Uh, um, one of those towers that that uh, track like every like they took down a freaking tower, like that's it's insane. What was he doing? Uh, you think at one point Iron Man would have looked up and been like, "Well, guys, we are really messing stuff up," and somebody would have had the common sense to like separate the fight and just be like, "What are we doing here, guys?" But no, they, nobody. I don't understand. Like even even so, it wasn't even in that one uh, when Black Widow. When she met her sister after all those years, the first thing they do is yeah. try to kill each other with steak knives and stuff. Right. Like, yep. I mean, that that's just, that's, uh, that's crazy to me. Like, and when they're, like, they're right. really trying to kill each other. Like, Iron Man and Captain, they weren't holding back. Nobody was holding back. They were, they were fully trying to kill each other. I just, it's all right, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to tell you this quickly, okay? It's uh-huh. kind of confusing. So there's something called the Marvel Universe that would be where the characters exist in comic books. Okay. okay? There's an entire different universe called the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is where the characters exist in the movies, right? Okay. Well, they're completely different. Totally. I mean, the ideas, you know, the ideas all come from the comic, right? But uh, when before there were the movies there were geeks that kept track of what they call continuity. That means uh, different events happening in different comics not being forgotten, you know, continuity of events, continuity of behavior among the characters or whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, there's an entirely different continuity in the movies. But do they they have another one for the TV shows then too? Do they have have a name for the TV? Yeah, I mean, that, that you just have to... That you just have to look at it sideways. Yeah, that'd be a, considered a different type of continuity. What's uh, uh Captain Coulson or uh, Agent Coulson? Yeah. Uh, he died in uh, which one was Avengers? That? Yeah, in Avengers. In Avengers. What? And then they, and then they brought him back. Yeah. Wait, but they haven't brought him back in the movies yet. They brought him back uh, in the in none of the movies. He's not there. But in the show, well, he was in he, he was he was in Captain Marvel, but that was in the past. Yeah, that was in the past. Yep. Yeah. But in, in the show, did you watch uh, Marvel Agents of the Shield? Mm, only the first couple. So in that one, so Marvel Agents of the Shield. This is what this is what throws me because Mar- Marvel Agents of the Shield was linked with those movies. It was it was completely linked with those movies. So in Agent Coulson. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, because you had you had to watch the movie to catch up with with the show. So, like in one of the season finales, it left you off with the war going on on with um, with the Avengers, and and right. he got killed. So you had to know what was you had to watch the movie to know what was going on. But then in like the season after or the following season, they ended up bringing an Agent Coulson back. He was on a, he was on a beach sipping like mai tais, and they they brought they brought him back and it was it was bad actually because uh, he he had like a lot of darkness in him because they they brought him back right. and, and he he experienced death so it was it was like a bad thing but this this hasn't happened in any of the movies yet and then like um, you think uh, what is it uh, gonorrhea or uh, not gonorrhea what's that uh, where's the Black Panther from. Wakanda, Wakanda, yeah. So they got the they got the water in Wakanda and, and all that stuff that they could bring people back. Like, so I just, it's a, it's a lot. I mean, do you want the real answer to that? Yeah. The real answer is, is is has nothing to do with the comic universe. It has to do with real world marketing. So, basically, they uh, at some point or another, Marvel licensed the idea of of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to ABC television, and they created a show with Phil Coulson in it, right? Yep. Well, then those characters, that show was successful, so it kept going on and on. So they kept adding more and more characters with different powers and this and that. 
none of those characters had anything to do with the movies. Completely separate thing. No, yeah, totally, totally separate. But but they they interchanged. So, I'm just saying it was just it was just a way to make money with a different concept. That's all. Yeah, I, I the, stopped the watching Agents, that show because I didn't understand how that. The Agents of Shield. The Agents of Shield does not come from the comic. Oh. I mean, the concept does. There was an Agent of Shield comic in the '60s. But the, well, even they had. Um, so the guy who was, um, who he worked, he worked, um, he worked for Shield, and then they found out he was Hydra. Um, he, uh, the dark carrot, the dark carrot fellow, with a, with a, he's got a good build. Um, he he ended up being a um, a pretty big badass through through the movies. He was also in Agents of the Shield, and he uh, he played the same role. Where he went, he went dark. Well, didn't didn't they say that Captain America was Hydra? I want, yeah, at one point, yeah, 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 at one point. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's stupid, right there. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah, one point, yeah, yeah. Well, there's there's a DC version of this. There's a show called DC Legends of Tomorrow, which I've watched. Yeah, obviously, I can't do the DC which, shows. There's too many of them, and they link them together in the WB. You have to, you have to watch. You have yeah. to watch five hours to catch up to one show right yeah I don't, yeah yeah that, but that was, it, that was all right, all let, me, let me go back to your original question okay uh-huh. all right i don't know how far you want to go back with comic books but super super years super years were created uh 19, 1938 superman was invented he's the first one okay okay <laughs> And in the early 40s, Gardner Fox put together the DC characters into a group called the Justice Society of America. 48? And it was popular. Uh, early 40s, I said. Oh, okay. oh, early 40s, okay. Okay, so that was popular with kids uh, during the war. They read the superhero comics. Well, then the war ended, you know, World War II ended, and superhero comics lost their popularity for some reason. And... Uh, Everything went by the wayside, and there, there were there were cowboy comics and war comics and things. And then, in the late '50s, which went to the entire '60s, there was a resurgence, which is known as the Silver Age of comics, and started with the Flash, which is really the second Flash. And then, of course, Stanley and Jack Kirby uh, created the Fantastic Four, and they created, you know, uh, the Avengers and Captain America. Well, Captain America was a pre-existing character, but Anyway, in the in the like uh, in the '60s, all the heroes got along with each other. They were all good guys oh, fighting yeah. for the same, right? Yeah. But when you got to like the '70s and '80s, they thought it'd be interesting if like some of the guys didn't get along, you know. Oh. So then it just got worse and worse. Eventually, eventually, culminating in something like civil war, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, why didn't they? Um, I mean, what was the storyline, and why they get, didn't get along? Were there ever, ever any like girls that like got in the mix that got between them? Like two superheroes are going after the same girl, and like well, all, all the time. Oh, really? Who was the girl everybody wanted? Uh, Jean Grey, Marvel girl. Later became Phoenix. That was an X Men, though. And that was okay. <laughs> oh, is that is that when, uh, the Wolverine and Gambit were kind of? A few, you know, or no, well, it wasn't Gambit. It in was the uh, comics. Uh, what's the, Cyclops. Cyclops, yep. Yeah, in the comics, it was always Cyclops and Marvel Girl. Yeah. But then in the movies, they made Wolverine be a love interest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then, so then that crossed back over into the comics. Okay. What about uh Black or uh, Black Widow? Right. That's that was that Black Widow. Or was that her name? Yeah, Black Widow. Yeah. So she was hot, right? Is there any? Did she ever hook really up? Hot. Yeah, did she ever hook up with anybody? Well, yeah, she was with Daredevil in the seventies. Ah, Daredevil, he was blind. How did he? But oh, he probably yeah. had a lot to feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, so, um, Black Widow's an interesting character because she was sort of like a half hero, half villain, you know. But she wasn't introduced. She was introduced, you know. Anyway, and then she had a little. Like a six issue series in the seventies, and that she ran. She was in Daredevil's book for a long time, and then she, I think she joined the Avengers. So. Now, did she ever? Was there ever anything that she had a super uh, power, 
in or was she always just a normal a normal girl who was just trained at birth and i know she had so they had a little bit of mind control over her but did, did she ever well this, this kind of this kind of this kind of goes back to batman right that that question okay. batman is just a, a regular human yeah who's trained to peak you know peak mental and physical capacity yeah all right so I'm going to blow you, like hopefully blow your mind here. The definition of a superhero is a character that has some type of mystical or supernatural or otherworldly powers beyond that of men, right? Okay. Well, Batman doesn't have any of that. None. He's just a regular guy. Yeah. But Batman is the greatest superhero ever created. I How thought that Batman be? was a vigilante. Well, he is, but, you know, roughly speaking... As far as genre, he would be considered a superhero. Okay. So, and he's the best superhero that's ever been, in your opinion. Well, only because he's had the greatest creators ever on him. Yeah. I mean, there every every era somebody does a great Batman story. Yeah. He's uh he's got a lot of stuff though too. That was there he's seen a he's seen a psychiatrist, right? Didn't he see a psychiatrist? Yeah, I think so. Probably, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. No, no, a lot of a lot of writers, a lot of writers write Batman as mentally disturbed. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, as, as being as being fixated on you know avenging his parents or whatever. Yeah, well, they kind of stole his storyline. Um, and uh, who was it? Was it? Uh, it was it. Bu- yeah, Bucky killed the Iron Man. Or not Iron Man. I'm sorry. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Iron Man's parents. In a kind of similar situation, but it was, it was out in the, I guess more like the rural area instead of a downtown. All right, so you had to mention the Winter Soldier. <laughs> I, I, I was reading the storyline of the Winter Soldier when he was introduced in the comics, which would have been in the early '90s, maybe. Right. Okay. So he Prior came along to that. Late. Okay. Way late. Prior to that, Bucky Barnes was just a name from the past. So, oh my God, Dave, I got to go back another another level to explain this. <laughs> Captain America was created by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon in 1940. He was a he, he was a mainstay of a comic book company called Timely Comics, which later became Marvel. So when Stan Lee rejuvenated Marvel in the 60s, that was a character in their house that they owned. So he put him he put him in the Avengers, right? Okay. Well. He Stan in Stan's mind. This was in 1964, let's say. In Wait, Stan's well, mind, Stan did he? So, so how long was Stan Lee? If so this is 64. How long is Stan Lee? Is he? He's he wasn't the creator because you just mentioned a different creator. It was yeah, Stan, he did not create Captain America. Okay, but they, okay, when, when Captain America was created, Stan was like 18. Okay. And he he did work there. He was like the office boy really? when Simon and Kirby were putting out the Captain America comics, right? Yeah. But he has been credited, you know, many times as a creator. He's not. Okay. His partner, the greatest, the greatest, his partner, the greatest comic book artist of all time, Jack Kirby, is the creator of Captain America. But most of the other Avengers were created by Stan and Jack together. Um, Iron Man. Thor, Thor, Thor is mostly Jack. Um, anyway, okay, yeah. so Stan thought, how am I going to take a character from World War II 20 years ago and uh, bring him into 1964 in the Avengers? Well, he had him found frozen in an iceberg in uh, in suspended animation. You ever seen that story? No, wait, no, I found Iron, or not Iron, Captain America was frozen in Iceberg, not Bucky. Was Bucky frozen? No, no, I'm talking about Captain America. Okay, yep, 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 yep. When, when Stan went to introduce, reintroduce Captain America in 1964, he didn't want him to be old. So he was trying to figure out a way to bring him from 1940 to 1960, right? Uh-huh. So he wrote the story where he said he was for 20 years, he was frozen in ice in a, in a suspended, animated, suspended animated state in an, in, a, in an iceberg, and they've thought him out, and he joined the Avengers, okay? Okay. All right. So Stan cared enough to worry about that 
we'll call it chronology, you know, the timing on that. Yeah. All right, 64, 74, 84, 94, 2004, 2014. That's already 60 years ago again, and Captain America's still the same age. Yeah. Well, now he's not. He's old now. <laughs> well, yeah, the movie's age. I'm just saying, <clears throat> Captain America was around for so long that that little gimmick of making him a nice never really mattered, right? Yeah. No, it, no, it didn't. Yeah, and, it didn't. Oh, you're, yeah, right. good call. It didn't but matter. But when he was... Well, no, when it he did, was because the then cause he would have missed... He would have missed all that all that time. No, so it did matter because when did Bucky? So when when did everything? All right, so wait. So in the sixties, all right. Yep. In the sixties, um, he would refer to Bucky Barnes as his partner during World War II yeah. when they were fighting in in the war, and then Bucky was killed in the war. He was a young kid, yeah. right? He was like a you know Batman and Robin as a kid. Was a Captain America and Bucky was a young kid. Yeah. Right? So he was dead. So it was just the name of somebody who was dead in the 60s. Well, then in the 90s, the writer, I happen to know who it is, his name is Ed Brubaker, he created the Winter Soldier as a super assassin and decided it had to be Bucky Barnes. I just, I just, just like I hated Civil War, I hated that. Why does it have to be Bucky Barnes? Bucky Barnes wasn't a killer. <laughs> but he had the kind of the no, same thing as Winter Soldier. Or not, no, I'm sorry, not Winter Soldier, it's Black Widow. Where he had somebody like kind of controlling his mind. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So how how did somebody? I'd like to see the the training that it takes place to be able to to control these people's minds. Like who? So uh, Magneto could do that, right? Wasn't that Magneto's power? And no, no, Magneto has magnetism power. What's that? Magneto has powers of magnetism. Who uh, isn't? I thought. Um, all okay. You're you're right. You're right. You're right. Who? Uh, Charles Xavier had. That's that's it. Charles Xavier. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yep. And that's why is that why Magneto wears the the helmet so so Xavier can't get in his head. I guess. I, yeah. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, how do these people like uh, to to control Bucky and to control Black Widow and do all this stuff? How do these how do these people? One guy did it though in Black Widow. He did it all through the computer. There you go. Because didn't when they when they right. broke his computer, it freed all those girls. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Hydra. Okay, so that story. That story there. I forgot that character's name. That that Black Widow. Knocked his computer down. Yeah, that story continues in the Hawkeye uh, miniseries. Does it? Yeah, because the sister Yelena Belova comes back in, and there's a couple of scenes where she's finding the other "quote unquote" Black Widows that were freed. Uh, that's kind of cool. So they kind of follow up that story a little bit in the in the Hawkeye miniseries. What? Oh shit, I lost ya. Oh, I lost ya. Oh, I lost ya. I lost Dave. I lost him. Such an interesting guy. Please leave your. Oh. Alright. We're gonna continue with that after. I'm gonna go into micro center right now. Be back. We're calling Trevor Sky. He has some serious questions. That's serious. Oh, these are serious questions. Oh, you're killing me. Hmm. Please leave your message for Trevor or David. Trevor or David. Trevor Skay. I, um, I'm feeling a little lost right now without you. So I'm finishing editing this video, right? That I told you about. Um, and 
at the very end, I got a minute to go, and you mentioned to me about how the storyline was Black Widow continues in Hawkeye. So I went to add a, a picture in from Black Widow in Hawkeye and come to find out that they had a secret relationship. I'm finding all these pictures right now with them kissing and foreheads up against each other and just very passionate scenes here and i'm sitting here thinking wait just one minute here um akai is married and he also has children um so i i'm lost i'm i'm seriously lost right now and um i'm looking for some clarification here because in my mind right now um uh, i don't know i don't know where it's where we're going here this is this is a lot Okay, I'll talk to you. Wow, this is um this is heartbreaking to me right here. Um, you know, thought I went through this whole video and it's put all these fun clips and all this stuff in here. Then I get to the very end, I find out there is adultery in the mix. Like, who wrote this? Who who wrote this in? Who wrote this in? Is it in the comics? Is Hawkeye? not married um i mean i guess they follow a different universe um but then the movie like i'm a little lost right now i'm i'm not gonna lie this was uh it was a lot of fun i learned a lot about um all the different all the different people um who started all of the comics and Atlas. Well, we didn't talk about Atlas, but doing my research uh, while I was stealing pictures and artwork from all over the internet to so many accredited, you know, artists and stuff where I just, I just stole it all because you know what? I believe, I believe the internet is uh, entire fair use. I believe the internet is a playground of ADD. And if I, if I find it right, so I, I found it um, on the internet, it was put on the internet for enjoyment to be seen by the masses so now if if i find it and i share it with you isn't that a vision on xyz artwork and xyz audio music i mean that this world is crazy i just believe that when it comes to the internet i get it fair use is the thing i get it but i mean at the same time I don't know, man. I don't know. The internet is uh, is a place that you could find all, and you could share all. Nowadays, I mean, we consume, 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 consume. Why not share what we consume? Makes no sense. I don't know. But I, I had a great time making this video. I had a great time talking with Dave, also known as Trevor. I do that because um, I don't know what he wants to truly be called. He's two men inside one. Is he Dave? Is he Trevor? Is he Trevor Dave? Is he? Who knows? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Who are you? You got one you? I don't know. At least he's not Trevita, you know? Davida. Davida Loca. You know, it's it's a crazy world. You, uh, in, this is why superheroes are so cool. Because you can do anything you want. If you believe something... You could do it. And Bruce Wayne taught us that. If he believes he wants to go out and fight the good fight, you could do it. You know? Kick ass. He was like, hey, I got the, the freaking kid from uh, Major League. Rookie of the year. He just had a bad surgery. And then uh, well, it was a good surgery. Next thing you know, he could throw the ball like 106 miles per hour or something. You know? Does that make him a superhero? Did, you know, did he, did he exploit that for, for greater good? What is good? What is bad? Who knows? What's up? What's down? That's easy. Up, down, unless you lose gravity or you're underwater, then it's a little harder to figure out. But if you're on Earth, it's easy. Look up, look down, look west, look east, north, south, right? It's easy. You know it's not easy? Choosing to live each and every day, right? You got to walk outside. You got to go enjoy there. You got a little human here. The fun world. What's up? I'm out of here, though. Thanks for coming in and watching. Fanny Pack Dave out. Like, follow, um, come back for more.
we're random, but you know what? The internet's random. You're probably random too. Why not have fun? Why not have fun together? Let's just live. Let's just live. Let's just live. Oh my God. All right. Oh. Yeah. And pick out. <laughs>